Prilep. The most footballing town in all of Macedonia. Football and Prilep are so connected that it is no coincidence that the nickname almost all Prilepchini get is the exact same as the name of the ultras group that dominates the town. However, even with football being the preferred sport there, they've struggled to reach the first division in recent years, never mind having a competitive team within the Macedonian pyramid. So why is this, and with Pobeda's recent successes in the second MFL and a potential promotion closing in for the red and white, will it ever achieve the same heights it had in the mid 2000s? If we are going to talk about the history of football in Prilep, we must go back to its very first football club, SK Yugoslavia. Playing their first ever game in the newly built town stadium in 1922, Yugoslavia were a strong team within the borders of the Varda Banovina, with their crowning achievement being their 1932 title win of the Skopje subdivision, being one of the few teams that didn't come from Skopje to have done so. Unfortunately, they never competed within the Yugoslav National League, and with Yugoslavia falling to the Axis powers in the Second World War, the club was disbanded. With Prilep's biggest side gone, a new club was formed to take their place, named Gosed Elchev, which would later be renamed as Pobeda Prilep in 1950. Much like their predecessors, they were a strong side within the Macedonian Republic, winning 8 Republic League titles and 8 Republic Cups, making them on paper the second most successful team only just behind Varda. They also never competed in the first division of Yugoslavia, unlike their closest rivals. Speaking of their closest rivals, Pobeda shared a fierce rivalry with Pelista, almost mimicking the endless rivalry that exists between Prilip and Batala to this very day. And around the time of the 80s, the Ultras group Markovid Nusi was formed, with Maimuni taking their place as Pobeda's main Ultras group from 97 onwards. Then in 1991, Macedonia decided to do a Brexit long before Brexit was a thing, and proclaimed its independence from the slowly disintegrating Yugoslavia. With this, Pobeda became a founding member of the newly formed First Macedonian Football League, which they finished in 11th within its first season. Fortunately for the sakes of all Prolepgeni across the world, they managed to pick up the pace with the other teams, and started to finish within the top half of the table, and also fighting for titles like in the 96-97 season. Pobeda also decided to honor Leverkusen in the 99-2000 season, by finishing second in the league, and being runners-up in the cup. Fortunately by 2001, Pobeda won its first ever trophy in the independent Macedonia, by beating Sementanica 3-1 in the cup final. More success came as the Red and Whites won their first league title in 2004, and then won another in 2007. A few mid-table finishes followed in 08 and 09, but the sky was clear as far as most people were concerned. That was, until 2009. To summarize. Pobeda got an 8-year ban from playing in UEFA competitions on the basis of match fixing, while the president and captain of the side at the time were handed out lifetime bans from football. This was all compounded by a decision from the FFM to also ban Pobeda from competing in the domestic league and cup for the duration of the UEFA ban, leading to Pobeda run officially dissolving and forming a Phoenix club called Victoria. So while we wait for that issue to resolve itself in a few years, let's take a look at Prilip's other teams, Corzo and 11th Octombre. Both the teams were naturally overshadowed by Pobeda due to its sheer history and importance to the town. However with it basically folding, both teams were able to take up a bigger spot within Prilip. This was all supported by Octombre's promotion to the first MFL and Corzo's first appearance in the second MFL. However, much like my mental health these past few months, it all came crashing down with Octombre's sudden fall, and folding in 2016 and Corzo merging with newly formed side Shikupi. Anyways with those two teams crashing and burning, what other hope does Prilip have of achieving any success in Macedonian football? Oh right. So while Octombre and Corzo imploded, Victoria renamed itself to Pobeda Junior, and then took the original club's name while not being able to claim the original club's titles, which seems to be a common trend for teams that got refounded, and don't happen to be from Skopje or fully Macedonian. I'm looking at you, Macedonia and Varda, you lucky bastards.
Regardless of my rant, Fabila finally managed to get back into the first MFL in 2016, where it lasted for three seasons, before it collapsed from the number one killer of football clubs in Macedonia, huge amounts of debt. With Pabila in the second MFL, rattled with debt, that would make Barcelona jealous, and being another level of shockingly shit, it was predicted that Pabila would eventually fall to the same fate as clubs like Bregal Nizadil Chivo or Liubertin. Complete obscurity. However, in the beginning of 2021, the municipality of Prilov stepped in and took a controlling stake within the club, fixed some of the issues plaguing the club, and managed to bring Pabila to a somewhat manageable level. As of the making of this script, Pabila are top of the table, after beating Bilas as a 3-2-0, and are in a great position to claim their long-awaited return to the top division, while also being cheered on by thousands of supporters when they play at home. But is this truly the beginning of a new era for Pabida? I'm not so sure. No team spot in Macedonian football is ever certain, because no matter how big your fan base is, no matter how historic your club is, and no matter how good you are at developing talent, there is always a chance you can fall into a state of disrepair. Even with clubs like Struga, Renova or Voska, clubs either owned by rich businessmen or companies with money to give, how long will they last in the heights of the Macedonian football pyramid until even they collapse? We've seen it with Borkan, with Sloga Yuga Magnet, Tikvesh, Bregalnis Adilchivo, Bashkimi, Milano Kumanovo, Liubertin, Macedonia, Octombri, Gorno Lysishen, Miravsi, Napradok, and most recently Varda and soon, to be joined by Pelista. I just hope, as a Pabila fan, that I will get to enjoy watching my team play at the top of Macedonian football once more, and maybe even watch them finally lift a trophy that this town most certainly deserves. With all that being said, thanks so much for watching. I know this video took a darker turn than intended, but I honestly feel that it is necessary to point out how unpredictable the structure of Macedonian football really is. Let me know what you think of me doing this form of content in the comments and as always, this was A8B.